If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey folks, Larry here, and let's get right to it. Today, it's going to be vintage. Yeah, you heard it, vintage. Not just any vintage pens, because like I said before, I'm into certain vintage pens. <coughs> Parker, Schaefer, Estabrook are just a few that I'm interested in. I do have uh, some Russian-made pens, some vintage German, and I have a few vintage that are okay, but these are my favorites. So anyway... What I want to show you down here, a special thank you to Dan for sending me this pin set. It's a vintage pin set, and as you see it right here, this is how it comes. It's this new old stock, never has been used on the original pin case that it comes in. It's got a lot of cool things inside that I think is interesting. So this is the Parker 51 pen and pencil set. So, because usually you would get what your ballpoint pen and maybe a the, the fountain pen or vice versa. And uh, he picked this up either at some kind of estate sale or somewhere where he lives in. Where was that, Mr. Minister? Uh, somewhere in the east. Maybe in the east somewhere, uh, you know, Dan, uh, forgive me, I forgot, but uh, uh, you're out there somewhere, out there somewhere. So, uh, I've been meaning to get this uh, done when I felt better, so I feel a little better, so it's time to whip it down, get down with the nitty gritty, and then we're going to fill it up with some of this good looking uh, Pelican ink here. And this is the Pelican, or Pelican, I, I don't like saying Pelican, drives me nuts. Pelican Star Ruby. So here we go. Original case, top and bottom. And the bottom of it says, uh, put some eyes to it here. I know it says USA. Let's see if I can get a better look on it here. Yeah, it's a real oldie there. Let's see if we can get some more light on this. Uh, made in the USA. And something number something, which I can't make out as of yet. Of course, Parker on top with the logo on here. looks really nice. You know, I'm, I'm going to clean all this up. Uh, up later and bring it to you after I get done polishing it and cleaning it and doing all those kind of cool things to it. Yeah, I can do all that stuff, but you know, I just rather not because due to the circumstances out of my control, the time a lot for me. So I'm going to open it up and here's what it is on the inside. Now, isn't that good looking? No, that's beyond good looking. That's like dynamite. And the back of it here is Parker, like a little satin back finish here, which is cool. And then here you have the uh, the Parker mechanical pencil and the Parker 51, both of them to die for. Now, this is my thing. Write who you want to write. And then you put this with the Schaefer. Woo! And keep on going to a few of my favorites, and I'm in pin heaven. Okay, again, thank you, Dan Rosenberg, for sending me this. So this video is brought to you by Dan because I couldn't have done it without his help. And to all the people that have sent me merchandise to review on my channel, and I mean it, special thank you to you all. It's very important that you know that you're part of the team. So... They lay, you know, as secure as can be for a pen of as, as old as this. 
So how old has this been? You know, I have no idea. I haven't had even had time to look it up. But if you have any ideas, leave the comments below. So I'm going to take this out and put that here. That is pretty. And I'll be doing some waxing, polishing pretty soon, cleaning up my babies. All right, here we go. I'm very particular when it comes to my pens. So, in the bottom here, when I took out the pen, uh, fountain pen, it said lip pad for the instructions. So, now here's going to get some cooler parts that I think. So, right here, put that back in, is the original price of the set fifteen dollars wow now it breaks it down for the uh you know for the mechanical pencil was five dollars and for the fountain pen was ten dollars now that was pretty pretty reasonable back in the day so i'm thinking could this be in the late 50s early 60s and i'm just a guessing then we're going to go to the original parker instructions in this little booklet here it gives you the proper ink for your pen of course they use the super clink ink and then it goes down here uh, here it is what I was looking for previously the Parker Pen Company Janesville Wisconsin USA and uh, when it was printed and as we open it up I can read up. I better not read upside down. Okay, it will tell you the filling instructions uh, to pull off the cap. Number two is unscrew the barrel, etc., etc. When the pen point emerges in the ink, then you're going to press the ribbon on the bar, which I'll show you shortly. And it comes in different languages as well. And then it goes to your mechanical pencil. Be sure that the old lid is ejected. Turn your cap clockwise. Until the clicking sound is heard, click, and turn the cap counterclockwise until a clicking sound is heard again. Then the Super 21 model does not click, but comes to a stop. Insert the new lid into a tip and push it, turn it clockwise, until the lid projects about <coughs> one eighth. Then you press point gently on the surface to see new lid. And this also comes in different languages. And of course, keeping your pen clean gives all the goody instructions on that. So, you, you come very well informed by this little pamphlet here by Parker. And yeah, I, I, I do really, really love Parker. Yeah, one of my favorite all pens. And I've got a, quite a few of them from steel nibs to, to gold nibs so let's talk with the bulb with the fountain pen first on the cap of the pen it does that Parker and made in the USA with the Parker emblem on it that little arrow which is cool and pull off cap <coughs> And I really can't see anything in there. I haven't done anything to the pen yet. Beautiful pen. Look at that. It really is gorgeous. Now, if you see any kind of marks, scratch on it, well, I can get that out with uh, what I'm going to be uh, cleaning my pens with. So, that's no big deal. But just look how beautiful this pen shines as it just sits in my fingertips there. And put a little light beautiful pen gorgeous and right here let's see on the band okay and there's nothing that I can see yet and the nib and it looks like a steel nib looks like now I could be wrong. It could be a gold nib, but it really looks like a steel nib. I 
Beautiful pin. So then we're going to unscrew the barrel. Look at this beauty come undone with all the goodies inside. Now, here's that little push right here where you fill the pin up. And then it does say the Parker Pin Company made in USA. And uh, again, Parker 51. And it says special I'm trying to fill something, something. Press, and it tells you how to do it. That little ribbon I just showed you, that's how to fill it. And this is very hard for me to read with my eyes. So you want to make sure it's submerged in the ink and they press down on the ribbon and make sure that ink gets up in there. And then you want to clean off the nib with the soft tissue. Then it says use Parker ink. Of course a lot of the pins that come out I always say use their ink. But as you ink freaks out there know we just use our favorite inks and we have so many. Uh, and this pin, it says here, the, the Parker Pin Company, made in the USA. So, there's where you have it. And I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Let me see up here. I like the detail when it comes into the pins. It has an H. Looks like a... It could be upside down. We'll try it this way. B H. Does anybody know what a B H B? Could it be initials that were engraved down there, or could it be something about the nib, or could it be about the pen? If you have any comments, let me know. And let me see what else. And that's why I love looking at details, because you know, you never knew. I never know where this pen has been, who has owned the pen, but one thing I can tell you, whoever owned the pen never, ever, ever used the pen. It just sat there for decades and decades and decades waiting to be adopted. And then when Dan came along, Dan, old Dan got and saw it, wow! And the product was totally amazing, so he grabbed it and bang, here it comes to me. Well, then it couldn't, it couldn't come to a better home. Thank you. Beautiful pen. And this does come out, but you got to pull real hard on it. I've had it done before. But here's the little ribbon. Dun, 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 dun. So, that's so much for that. Let me just look for that. And for those who want to make this into a eyedropper. I'm thinking maybe not because it does have some uh, metal hardware inside the filler but I could be wrong. So there you have it. This beautiful Parker 51. That is a gorgeous piece of the rock. Now let me come along with you here. Dun 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 dun. Here we go. I guess I'm going to put it over here. So I can make some little notes in this <coughs> notebook and then I'll transfer them elsewhere. All right, so here we go. So, oh, I forgot to mention the jewels on top. I forgot about that. And I do like the arrows that on both of the pin set. I do like it. And let's see what this one says. Of course, like the other one, Parker. And the Parker logo. And it says Parker right below the cap. Made in the USA.
really really nice nice clips on it nice and sturdy really well taken care of and it should be for just sitting on the shelves for decades and decades and decades however long that's going to be great shape so let's see how this little jewel works I'll twist it to the right right about there Well, it rides really well, and I'm not riding anything important, just making a bunch of doodles and notes and just checking out how this pencil writes. And I'm thinking this could be probably about a medium there, but that is a pure guess. Pull the cap off. Because I'm sure. Okay. Has a eraser right there. And just let me look in there for a second. Yeah, I'm sure the racer would come off because you had to get a refill for it, and there you go. And let me see here. Yeah, it looks like it has one, two, three, four. Five, six. That could be lid refills, or it could be part of the <coughs> system that's inside. But I'm thinking. And that's what they are, my friends. I was right. Yep. They are the refills. Dun, 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 dun. And what did I just drop? Very good, right? Okay. That's what they are. Well, I was right about that. Put that back in there. Put this back in here. And then in a minute, we're going to get to doing the ink tank. See, my thing with mechanical pencils, or even pencils, when I sharpen them up, I tend to apply too much pressure, and I always break the tip of the pen, of the pencil, excuse me, and then I have to either resharpen it or add some more lid. So real quick... So next, my friends. All right, here we go. Now it's ink time. All right, here we go. Always kind of do that once or twice. Here we go. All 
that's one and as you can see went in there very nicely no problem <coughs> so far everything is looking really good I'm ecstatic about that see I get more in there but that's a really nice fill and I'm happy with that finally getting around to doing it you don't know how much it's been itching me to do this Mr. Announcer Here we go. So now, I'll let you all follow me and we can go on some writing journey and just have some fun. Okay, it does feel like a steel nib because just the way the nib feels, it may be like a medium. As you see the lines, the nice thin line going down stroke and the cross stroke, it's a little bit wider. It could be fine, medium, or just medium. And you'd be surprised sometimes it could be a fine. And you can get some line variation doing reverse. Staple this back in because it came unstaple on the spine. Here we go. And today is Wednesday, right? Today is the 25th. So I'm going to say it's a medium nib. I'm loving it. And it really looks great, feels great in the hand, rides well. Okay. 
Okay. So that's going to take care of that. And on to roll on to the next step. Well, I've got to write the pencil down next. So, what does this little jewel weigh? <coughs> now, the, the pen is going to weigh. Nineteen point six G's. Cap is seven point five G's. And for the pin barrel all the way to the nibs, gonna hold down to eleven point eight G's. And when we come to the Mechanical pencil. Pen's going to weigh in at 18.4 G's. And I'm not going to weigh the, uh, the cap or anything. I think you all got the idea. But I later will put information about this pen into my notebook. Because I keep all my stuff track now because I tend to forget a lot and this will help me to not forget. Alright. Well, for today my friends, that's going to wrap this one up. La la la. Let's see. Alrighty here. 15 bucks if you would have bought it decades and decades ago. Isn't that something? Uh, you know, uh, this is the kind of information that I really get into finding them about anything that is vintage or old. Alright folks. I hope you made it all the way to the end with me. And appreciate you coming on checking out the review. If you're not into vintage, there's always something on the channel that might catch your eyes. But those that are interested in vintage, if you have any information that can be provided to leave it on the comments below and that way we can share it with everybody else because we're talking Parker 51 and one of my favorite all-time vintage pens. Right? Right. I'm digging it. Feed on it. Peace and love. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>